Alrighty, so let's check this out. You get your head turn in there. So I'll probably take out your uh, <coughs> your um, nose trackers there. So what stands out a bit here is kind of the separate feeling notion of the just the way you have your body with your head. Meaning, if I scroll through this here and kind of look at this, there's a, it feels like there's a big pivot point on the ear. See, I can do this and there's not much going on just in that back section. I feel like there's a lot of shoulder wiggling going on that doesn't quite mesh with the, what the head is doing. So it feels like these two moves are a bit separate. I don't feel like he is ultimately typing, which then affects his arms, which then affects the shoulders, which in, in turn affects the head. They feel a bit too separate. I would definitely look at timing this out, even if it's just like a simple thing. Because right now, this feels a bit... If When this hits, I'm taking the sound out. So when the ball hits, this feels almost too slow. Almost like you want to go from this hits to this in a less exaggerated anticipation squash stretch faction here with that big arc it just feels too yeah, too elaborate too animated for something that would just go wait what is that I can cut all that in half go super fast into this and then that this might just be me but there's something where it feels like this eye is traveling more than the other one I'll probably also open up the lids a bit more on this one. This was like a punch in the face and you got a swollen eye compared to the other one. And this feels a bit weird where he suddenly it starts to die. I see some stuff in eyes and brows a bit, but you go back. And then as you go forward here, it feels like a bit of a translate forward, then a stop, and then kind of it's very separate shoulder moves that don't really feel tied into the rest of the body. And then the whole thing just kind of locks, like I said, except eyes. So some more keep alive moving holds here would work where you might look up, look over here, with a slight moving hold forward and then have a, a rest down and then back over cutting into this. This here, watch out. This feels like it's an IK arm. You got your fingers and arm uh, hand and finger pose kind of the same throughout here. And same thing here where you get into this and kind of locks a lot. So you might get into a, um, a lot stronger moving holds. Same thing here. This feels a bit too IK arm-ish here. This feels weird too. We get your arm back and then suddenly it feels like it's overextending. But then the shoulder's up. So you might as well bring the shoulders down so you can reach down to then lean over his hand for that push off and then have the shoulder up. So just mechanics wise it's a bit funky watch out how your arm kind of pops out from here to here it's like a linear key you want to ease out of that a bit more same thing here your foot comes down boom it kind of locked i see lots of other stuff moving while the foot is kind of locked through here so i'll be careful that through here it's short not that you want to switch from ik to fk but make sure you treat it like an uh, like an FK a leg because it's just kind of resting on that bed. Overall, the mechanics are cool. I like that you go back through here and hop and push your weight on that arm. That's all cool. My child is a bit of a stuck foot here as well. Nike leg here. It just feels a bit fast. Whoop, whoop, right there. That, just the mechanics of that. I'll probably give this a bit more hang time through here and then you can plop down if you want to plop down a bit faster. Or just slow everything down like at least 20% through there. And then watch out, don't lose uh, eye line. This was a bit too high. Here we're getting back to it. So you might have to rotate that head down a bit more to keep that eye line. So just watch out. We don't lose that. It feels a bit all over the place, a bit poppy there, unfocused. Still feels a bit like an IK arm. You bring that up in a pretty straight way. And it almost locks while the rest of the body is moving a lot. 
So this could easily be an FK arm at this point here. Then I see movement through here, but then the rest of the body is not moving. So anyway, there's some weird um, stuff going on in terms of poses where you stop and hold. Um, so make sure that they're not separate moments through there where things just freeze. And you can probably bring up that shoulder a bit higher since that arm is here and then bring up that, maybe that elbow a bit out, a nicer silhouette. But that's about it for now. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.